Welcome to another Made at Home Texas video. In this video, I'll show you how I built two lamps. I built two versions, an easy one and a hard one. The easy one was the first lamp I ever built and was from a bottle lamp kit from the home center. I started the lamp bottle kit by assembling the hardware. With the bottle kit, you find a rubber piece that fits into the opening of whatever bottle you use. I chose mine and this is how it would sit on the bottle. Mine was still a little too loose, so I decided to add some hot glue to hold it in place and that worked out great. After that, I was done. The hard one was made out of MDF plywood and the lamp kit from the home center as well. I started by cutting down the plywood to a manageable size with my track saw. This helped to pass them through the table saw a lot easier. I ripped them to an oversized width from what I would need and cut them to length. Here I stacked them to get an idea of how I would assemble the base of the lamp. I marked the area where the glue would be needed, applied glue, checked they were square to each other, and held them down with 18 gauge brad nails. I repeated this on the other side, then after finishing both sides, I placed the middle section piece in place and mark where the cut would be needed. I cut it a few times to try my best to sneak up on the cut for the best fit possible, but you'll see how that did not exactly happen in a bit, and I'll show you how I solved that problem. I installed all four pieces the same way with glue and brad nails. After finishing up the first two layers, I needed to measure an inch from the inside to offset where the outside piece would be set for a design review. I ripped the piece to its needed width and installed it on the piece. I did another three layers the same way and glued it all together for a total of six layers for the lamp base. I then proceeded to cut the copper pipe to its needed length. I was pretty happy for my first time cutting copper. I used this lamp kit from the home center but took a piece from the bottle lamp kit to use on a copper fitting for easy placement as shown here. I didn't want the metal pieces touching, so I added this extender to the bottom. I just screwed it all on, and now it won't touch. This is the gist of how the lamp will look. Before cutting the base, I placed scrap wood on my workbench, gave it a little slap, measured and marked the desired distance from the inside, and cut it with my track saw. This could also be done with a regular circular saw and a straight edge. Since the blade isn't long enough to go through the entire thing, I cut it in two passes, transferring the lines to the opposite side with a speed square. I did this to all four sides. The next step, I blew away all the dust and fixed the issue of the pieces not being cut to the proper length. I used a tape trick as a mixing tray for some wood glue and MDF sawdust to mix together to make a paste to fill in all the holes and gaps. I applied it to the wood and let it dry before sanding it smooth. Cleanup was easy by just removing the tape and tossing it out. I could have easily used a regular wood filler, but I ran out, so I opted for this method instead. I sanded the entire thing first with 80 grit sandpaper to smooth it all out. The glue paste worked well, but after sanding being so laborious, I wish I would have just gone and bought some regular wood filler instead, maybe for the next lamp I will. sanded all the corners and edges I couldn't get with the sander, then switched to 120 grit sandpaper and sanded the entire thing again. For the next step, I marked the center of each piece to drill the hole where the copper pipe would slide through. My drill bits weren't long enough so I had to mark both sides to drill from. I tried my best to keep the hole square and straight but you'll later see that that did not happen. 
After both holes were drilled, I tried sliding the pipe in for a test fit, but quickly saw something was wrong. The first hole was straight, but the other was not. I then used the same drill bit to try and enlarge the hole for easier maneuvering. I only had to slightly bend the pipe to get it in. For the bottom of the base, I used my router with the cove bit to cut out a ridge for the power cord to sit through. I set up a speed square as a straight edge and cut it with two passes. I used the file to round over the sharp edges, then I went with the round over bit on my router for the edges of the entire base. I first did a light round over, then switched to deeper cut for a better round look. I hand sanded the freshly cut edges with 220 grit sandpaper, blew off the dust, and proceeded to prime the entire base with the shellac base primer. This is the same primer I've used on my previous laminate furniture makeover projects. It works great for bare wood as well. After that dried, I lightly sanded it smooth again, cleaned off the dust with compressed air and a damp rag, and proceeded to add the top coat. I used the water bottle mist method where I lightly mist the brush and the surface that is to be painted with water. This helps achieve a smoother finish. For the paint, I used some leftover regular white paint I had. This lamp is just a proof of concept so the type of paint didn't really matter to me. I was just excited to build the lamp from scratch. I lightly sanded the entire thing again, wiped away the dust, then added the second coat of paint. After that, I sanded the pipe with 220 grit sandpaper to see if I could remove the labels. It worked and left me with this cool sanded finish. I had to take the sticker off the copper fitting, so I sprayed it with goo gun, scraped it with a knife, and sanded it to match the pipe. After that was done, I added these felt pads to the bottom of the base. Pass the pipe through the holes, and here you can see where the holes were not straight. I gently bent it into the hole, and I was able to pass it through. By bending it, it winded up being wedged tight and won't go nowhere. I checked the extruding part of the pipe for square, but found it was not, so I just bent the part until it was close enough. After it's done, you really can't tell with the naked eye. I lightly sanded the pipe again, then super glued the copper piece to the end. Once that dried, I passed the power cord through the pipe. I tested it and it worked. I held the top piece with hot glue and the bottom cord with hot glue and super glue. After that, I was all done. I really like how these came out. I was able to prove the proof of concept by first building an easy craft lamp, then jumping to a more in-depth lamp build. I'm excited to build another lamp in the future and bring you guys more content. Thank you guys for watching these videos. We're almost at 200 subscribers at the time of this video. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.